In that background is a fairground, and this is the access road to the parking lot down the end. And we're doing our training session on the fairground entryway to the parking lot. We pre-wet the area before we ripped it. It's being ripped to 120 mil, 12 centimeter, and then we're gonna bring in roughly 30% fines and uh, sand to amend the soil. As you see, there's a decent amount of aggregate in there. There were a lot more stones and aggregate in the base than the lab reports told us. Now we're amending the soil, bringing in fine, fine sand with a high fines content. We're in the process of homogenizing the road base. The existing material and what was brought in then it will be leveled back out and we will apply the agribind. We're adding three grams of water based on, in the bowl is a microcosm of the soil that's in the road. The soil has been laid back in place and next we're going to apply the agribind and water mix at a six to one water to agribine ratio. There are two totes. One is to stabilize the base, which is closest to us, and the second tote is for the top seal. We mixed both at one time. We're putting down the last bit of agribine for stabilizing the base. We went from the gravity feed spray bar to a pump and hose to get the rest out of the tank. The road has been compacted and we're using a manual compactor uh, to do the compaction, then we'll top seal. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Alejandro Larraín. We're in Santiago, in Chile. Uh, I'm the general manager of AGB Chile. This is my partner, Cristobal Tejers, and an associate. We have made our first trial of an agribind road. Uh, for that, we had the visit of Robert Friedman, who's the general manager of agribind from the United States. He trained us and our team to making up this road. It's been a really good experience. Uh, I think there's a big market for this product in, in Chile. Uh, it's ecological and we have to prevent dust and contamination and also with this product we can cut uh, a lot of uh, costs and there's a bright future for us.